Hello my fellow family foodie friends. Welcome back to my weekly grocery haul. I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm excited to share with you guys. It is July 6th, right after the 4th of July weekend. We cleared out a lot of our food. We just hung around the house, did a little bit at my in-laws, did the fireworks stuff, but I'm exhausted. And even though I didn't really want to go grocery shopping today, I got it done with Walmart grocery pickup. You guys know that's so easy. And then I did hop into Aldi. Only got a few items there. I didn't plan on going there, but last minute hopped in and you'll get to see what we got. And make sure you stay tuned to the end because you can see the meal plan and what I plan to make with all this stuff. I have a lot of frozen meat, so you won't be seeing meat in this haul if you're wondering. It's all in my freezer. But otherwise, this is what I got to make dinners this week. I got potatoes. I am making a mashed potato and meatball dinner this week. I love putting meatballs on top of mashed potatoes. And then my daughter that doesn't eat meat, she actually really likes mashed potatoes as well, so that'll be good for that. We're also making shepherd's pie. I think five pounds will be enough for both dinners. We'll see. If not, uh, I will be doing a last minute grocery run. I got, I ordered five pounds of gala apples. They substituted me for two three pound bags. Obviously that worked out a little bit in my favor because not only is the five pound discounted for the quantity, but I got six pounds for the price of five. I got broccoli, I'm making stir fry this week. I am not gonna follow like a specific recipe, but a basic soy sauce, sesame oil, lots of veggie, and Asian noodles. I just have Asian noodles in my pantry to use, so I got veggies for them. Green onions, same thing for the stir fry, also really good on salads. I love green onions pretty much on anything. I got mixed vegetables at Aldi. I did not actually plan to make shepherd's pie, but this morning before we got groceries, my daughter asked if we could add that to the list. She has a Disney princess cookbook and she really likes the shepherd's pie recipe in there. So because I wanted to go to Aldi to look for pool loungers, which they didn't have, I ended up getting these. And I like to just keep this on hand. I never steam them. I, I never steam them in the microwave. I just make them stovetop or in a casserole or a soup or whatever. But since I don't have mixed veggies in my freezer, I decided to add it. My son saw this when we were at Aldi and I got the vegetables. He was like, Dino Nuggets. We've had these before. He really likes them and I haven't bought them in a long time. So they don't always carry the dino shapes. He likes them. And I just make like two or three in my air fryer and serve it with fruits and vegetables. And he's very happy for a lunch. Like if we don't have leftovers of some sort. Sweet corn, we're grilling hot dogs this week. And my daughter doesn't like uh, meat so I always make sure I grill corn for her it's a nice starch and then she has all the other sides everyone else can have corn too but she really loves grilled sweet corn we might do this meal we might not especially as I add in the shepherd's pie but we were gonna do instant pot ziti and it's a very cheesy creamy tomato sauce pasta and I just have this on hand so that we can make it. You can see I got ziti there, but I was running low on mozzarella and that was one of my early plans of dinner. But then with my daughter's request, it might get bumped to a later week, but it's a really easy pinch dinner. That's also why I bought heavy whipping cream. I like to have this in coffee, but I also needed it for the dinner for the ziti. I'm making a creamy lemon rice with a pan fried chicken. That's another reason I need the cream and lemons. It's very easy, really fresh and it just sounded good to me. Onions, because I am running low in my pantry. Uh, this is the funniest thing of my entire list, is I ordered dill relish, the Heinz dill relish, and they were out of it. They haven't had dill relish for whatever reason in a long time on my Walmart orders, but they substituted me for Sir Kensington spicy ketchup. Obviously nothing like dill relish, but it sounded good to my middle daughter. She loves um, spicy things, and you know what? I do too, so we decided to keep it for the price of the Heinz. I actually have no idea what this costs, but it looks kind of fancy compared to like a Heinz. Um, but this is substituted for my dill relish. I don't quite understand. It made me laugh, but I'm excited to try this. Soy sauce, I am just running low. I'll probably have enough for the dinner, but I didn't want to make a stir fry and not have enough soy sauce. Chili sauce, the chili sauce, along with cranberries and sauerkraut is for my meatballs. I put that in a crock pot or my instant pot. Very yummy, it sounds really weird. I know it does, but it's good, I promise. Lemon juice, just because we're running low. Seasoned croutons, just because we have a lot of lettuce and we like to make salads. Easy meal. The baby corn and the water chestnuts are for my stir fry. Again, I'm not really following a recipe. I'll probably use Damn Delicious 
her lo mein sauce, and then I'm gonna add in a bunch of vegetables. That sounds good to me. Uh, this is on my Amazon Alexa. I use that to keep track of shopping items I need. I have no idea what I added it for, but I like to have a pretty stocked baking supply list, so I added it because it was on there, but I have no need for it this week. My 10 year old, the vegetarian, asked to have spaghetti. She's gonna make it this week. I have lots of jarred sauce from a sale previously and when I was kind of stocking up my pantry. So she's gonna make it just a jarred sauce, spaghetti. And we actually have a leftover Hungry Howie's breadsticks from last night. I took the last night of the weekend off and we just got pizza to go. White bread for sandwiches, toast, you know the drill, buns for our hot dogs. I bought a four pack of Hebrew Nationals at Costco a few weeks ago, so we have lots of hot dogs on hand. Sausage patties, we're having pancakes, and I have sausage patties to go on the side. We recently went to Ship Shawana down in Indiana. I live in Michigan, but we bought a um, blackberry syrup. My husband really likes fruity syrups, so he wants to have pancakes again so he can have that. I got potato wedges to go with our hot dogs, uh, meatballs. I'm gonna have with our, not only our spaghetti, we'll just cook some in my little dipper and the spaghetti sauce, but also for the cranberry chili sauce, sauerkraut meatballs. I know they sound really weird, but I promise you they're so good. I love to just get the chopped onions. This was suggested to me. I don't really have a need for it this week. I figure it might go in the shepherd's pie, but um, when I added it to my list, it was just because Walmart suggested it and they don't always have the frozen onions on hand and I really like to use these in a pinch. I normally chop fresh, but if I'm going really quickly and I don't have time or I wanna get something in the crock pot, these are so nice. And then I have been regularly buying these four pounds of frozen strawberries. They're already cut, there's no stems. They're, you're not worrying about them getting mushy or moldy. We really like these strawberries. They're great for sauces, for smoothies. And sometimes my kids just like to eat them as a snack, but I'm running low. Or even in our strawberry lemonade popsicles that you'll see later this week. Very yummy, and we're running low on the one that's currently in our freezer, so a restock. And then I have all of my non-food items. My daughters were running low in their bathroom. I kind of count on them to tell me what's running low in their shower, so they needed body wash and shampoo and conditioner. This is the scent they requested, and then I just thought that seemed like a good a good one for them. They previously were using a Bath and Body Works one that they got for Christmas, but it ran out. Cotton swabs, just stocking up. We ran out in my pantry. And parchment paper, I just used the rest of mine when I made some no-bake cookies. Parchment is something that I love to have in my kitchen. It's considered a must for sure. And then you guys know we have three cats. I got two things of cat litter because cats need it, unfortunately. So this is my Walmart list with about $10 worth of all these stuff. Altogether, I spent $95. So this is what I got for my week of groceries, and now we'll get right into the meal plan. Okay, so my meal plan for this week, my 10-year-old requested spaghetti that was added on last minute. We're having meatballs with mashed potatoes. My eight-year-old asked to add shepherd's pie last minute. We have ziti in the instant pot. That probably will get moved to next week. Hot dogs, sweet corn and wedges, chicken with a creamy lemon rice, stir-fry noodles, and pancakes with sausage. Obviously with this many meals, something's gonna get bumped, but this is the plan and what I have to work with. If the meatballs with sauerkraut, cranberry, and chili sauce sound good to you, make sure you check out my video linked right next here. I love this recipe, it's super good, and though it sounds weird, it is delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.